So it seems like with every day, we're getting new details about Universal's new theme park coming to Florida, Epic Universe. From leaked name trademarks to visible construction, so much is going on with this park, and I think it's leading up to something fairly soon to come from Universal, a big announcement, the first big announcement for this upcoming park in the coming months. But before we really get into that, I just wanted to specify that this is just speculation. These are just some of my theories based on my thoughts. I have no insider information from Universal. This is all just me piecing this together. So when it comes to Epic Universe, we have a lot of very strong rumors, but we don't have a whole lot officially confirmed. Of course, this is going to be Universal's new state-of-the-art theme park down the road from the main Universal Orlando Resort and contain a few hotels besides the main theme park. And the only thing we really know about the main theme park that is confirmed to be coming is Super Nintendo World. Of course, this will be Florida's version of Super Nintendo World. We already have it in Hollywood and Japan. And this is going to be kind of the best of Super Nintendo World, including stuff from Japan, stuff from Hollywood. And by that, I mean we're going to get the Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge ride they have in every Super Nintendo World. That's sort of the flagship attraction of Super Nintendo World. We're going to get the Yoshi's Adventure People Mover attraction and a new Donkey Kong Kart theme roller coaster. That's all confirmed. Everything else has been rumors though, and while the rumors are pretty strong, they are just rumors. For those who don't know already, we're supposed to be getting a How to Train Your Dragon theme land with a dragon race flat ride, interactive boat ride, flight training roller coaster similar to Hagrid's over an Islands of Adventure, and an immersive stage show. We're also supposed to be getting a Wizarding World expansion based on the Ministry of Magic with an advanced dark ride similar to Rise of the Resistance or Jurassic World Adventure in Beijing along with another immersive stage show. And the final IP-based land we will be getting is one based on the Universal Classic Monsters with a Wolfman spinning coaster, Kook Arm Dark Ride similar to Harry Potter and the Forbidden Journey, and a new Universal Monsters themed restaurant to act as the spiritual successor to the greatest theme park restaurant of all time. Of course, I'm talking about Monsters Cafe, come on now. And of course, all this would surround this celestial hub, which will contain a couple attractions, most notably a dueling space themed coaster, an immersive flat ride of some sort, and a large fountain display which would act as like the centerpiece of this park. And while I've hammered it in at this point, these are all just rumors. However, as I said, name trademark permits, those sort of deal is starting to come out, sort of detailing the official themes of these attractions, and we're starting to see visual facade elements and construction elements that sort of lead people in that direction. So I think the bulk of this upcoming theoretical announcement from Universal around Epic Universe is going to be just confirming what is going to be in this park. I'm talking setting the record straight when it comes to the IPs featured at the park and maybe some general attraction concepts, mainly for each land's e-ticket. So in this case, I'm thinking the new Donkey Kong Kart Coaster, the Ministry of Magic Rise of the Resistance style dark ride, it seems to be pretty advanced, the How to Train Your Dragon Flight Roller Coaster, and possibly either the Wolfman Spinning Coaster or the Kuka Arm Dark Ride. I really say that these are going to be the focus because these contain some of the most state-of-the-art technology, and that's really the focus going into this park. While there is an effort in pushing a new age of immersion with Epic Universe, the state-of-the-art technology has always been a plus when it comes to Universal compared to other theme parks. So I'm thinking that these attractions are going to be the heavy hitters and these are going to be the ones that Universal wants to promote. So I'm thinking overall land themes, some general attraction concepts to get people excited that aren't already in the know. And that goes for this whole announcement in general, just to sort of clarify what's going on for the skeptics or the people that don't stalk this park like us locals do. I also think with that, we're going to be getting more concept art for both the park and the hotels. Because other than some new art that's come out recently for that Donkey Kong coaster, we have been using the same picture for almost four years now. And I think either some ride concept art or just general streetmosphere would be great to sort of establish what this park is going to look like, some of the theming they're going to go with. Anyways, these are all specifics. When is this thing going to be announced, you're asking? And I think we're going to see this in summer of this year. Summer or early fall. And if I had to pinpoint a month for you, I would say July sounds pretty good. 
Now, the first reason why I think this could be announced over summer is it's going to coincide with about two years until the park's opening. Universal has said they're trying to get this park open by summer of 2025, and based on the movement of the construction, I think that's pretty possible. So summer of this year would coincide about two years until that park will open, giving them enough time to do any sort of marketing, integration in the current parks, media, advertising of some sort, just getting the word out there. I also think the peaking interest recently with the construction photos and the new logo unveiled by Universal as part of a recent rebrand is sort of laying the seeds for them to make that big announcement for this park. Also, why I say specifically July is I think it lands in between two of Universal Orlando's biggest events in the next handful of months. You of course have the opening of the new Villain Con Minion Blast attraction at Universal Studios Florida, which is the first attraction to be opening in that park since 2018. And in August, September is right around the time we start getting HHN season, and that pretty much dominates the park at the time. And yes, even in a non-HHN video, I have to make reference to it. But I think July is perfectly in between those two events because I don't really see the Minions ride opening too, too late. It was projected for summer of this year. I'm thinking May or June because that's the prime summertime, right? You don't want to wait too long to open that attraction. So this could be a way to sort of keep Universal in the conversation even when nothing's going on, even though they're going to be right up the coattails of a new attraction and right before their biggest event of the year. But my next bit of reasoning is something a little bigger and involves the other little park down the street. See, recently the dates were just announced for September of this year for Destination D 2023, which is being hosted at the Contemporary at Walt Disney World. And for those who don't know Destination D, it's pretty much a smaller D23. You know, D23 is the big convention for Disney, the company, the parks, and everything like that. And that's when usually big announcements are made for the future of the Disney parks. But last year's D23 was kind of a blunder to say the least. Because last year's D23 was the first D23 since Epic Universe was announced. So everyone was wondering what Disney was going to do, how they were going to respond to Epic Universe being announced. Were they going to announce the fifth gate? Walt Disney World, where they're going to announce a new slate of attractions sort of kicking off a new era of Imagineering as the current one comes to a close with next year's Tiana Bayou Adventure. But no, they just kind of threw out some vague ideas for the far, far future of the Disney parks and specifically Walt Disney World, leading many people to think they don't really have a plan for when Universal builds Epic Universe in 2025. However, I think Disney's going to try to rebound this year. I think they're gonna to try to announce a good slate of things coming because they know that backlash was there and they know Epic Universe is coming quicker than people are expecting. So while Destination D doesn't usually host the big theme park announcements, Disney might slip some in there to truly respond to Epic Universe. So I feel like it would be smart for Universal to beat them at their own game, announcing it early enough so that it's in people's minds when D23, or Destination D rather, comes to Florida. Or they just wait until September and drop that announcement right before Destination D happens or right after it happens. Disney and Universal are both very reactionary companies. And we're seeing that right now with the theme park wars in full effect. Disney announces something, Universal announces something. Disney announces something else, Universal announces something, SeaWorld says something, and then it's immediately shut down by Disney or Universal announcing something. So with the next phase of Imagineering sort of coming up, why not make that big announcement for their big state-of-the-art theme park? So yeah, I think those are just a few reasons why I think we're going to be getting an Epic Universe announcement fairly soon. Maybe getting a preview center in the parks like people have been talking about. Just something. I'm just really starved for Epic Universe information from Universal. Obviously, the fantastic content creators out there have been filling it in with news and updates about Epic Universe. But come on, Universal, say something. We want to know some details about Epic Universe. But with that, I think I'm going to leave it there. What do you all think? When do you think Universal is going to make that first big Epic Universe? Universe announcement. What do you think will be announced? Will it be the land themes? Will it be attraction concepts? Do you think they're going to show off some video footage or some, some preview footage? Let me know all your thoughts on Epic Universe in the comments below. And also, if you made it this far, leave a comment, Monsters Cafe 2. Thank you all for watching this video, and of course, I will see you all next time.